It's got to be one of the biggest geek fests of the like I haven't seen in a long, long time. I mean, it's big. It's got a lot of geeks. And a lot of really cool things happen here. I was really impressed when I was in Bogota last year. And uh, I was really totally amazed that I had so many fans from uh, South America. It was really amazing. I did not realize that I had so many fans in the Spanish-speaking community. It's just a, I mean, here I was just being followed around by this 50 people or more. I didn't realize that that was so, you know, that, that there were so many people that were interested in meeting and talking with me. It seems like everybody really wanted to be posing with pictures with me and all that. And I went looking around and, every, and I noticed also that in Colombia, in South America, people like to pimp out their computers. They like to overclock them and make things like little tubes of Freon running through their computers and make it look like it's a mechanical gizmo running and stuff like that with lights and black lights and flashing stuff. Make sure there's something inside their computer doing some really cool things. And I found that to be really fascinating. Here, like back in the day, they would like pimp out their cars and do, you know, this bouncing stuff on them. And, and now they're uh, doing, their, doing the thing with computers. Not so much here in Berlin. Now, in Berlin, it has been totally different. Same with DEF CON, same with HOPE. On these conferences that I go to, everybody knows me already, and they don't have this, this kind of groupy kind of mindset to come up and talk to me and just because just I'm famous or just because I know, you know, I'm a celebrity. But they already know who I am. They, got me, they know me on Facebook. I communicate with them. But I communicate with everybody on Facebook. You know, if they talk to me in Spanish, I may not be able to get to them right away because I've got to run the translator to find out who they are and be able to understand what they do. But... It's all the same thing. Uh, you know, no matter where they're at, I'll communicate with them. Uh, I'm JD Crunchman on all the social engines, so, or social networks, so I'm very easily reachable. No matter where you are in the world, I'm here. I'm going to be in uh, uh, Malaysia in October, giving a talk at the Hack in the Box in Malaysia. I have some work to do in Thailand, and uh, while I'm in Asia, I'll be doing some of that work before coming home. I was really surprised. Uh, I had more people than I thought I'd have. Uh, and the questions were very intelligent. I actually had questions before on uh, usually one of my talks. Uh, I hardly get any questions, so I kind of ran up right about to the end there and I figured give myself about maybe five minutes for questions. And that worked out quite well, actually. So each time I give a talk, I'm sort of like refining my talk and making it... Uh, Always trying to pull in new information. I got a lot of information that I can still talk about that I haven't even talked about yet. But that's going to be that's going to be in my book, and it's also going to be in further conferences that I go to and further talks. Because I'm definitely going to be very active on the speaking circuit now, and uh, available to go anywhere to talk anywhere. So that's uh, pretty much uh, what I'm doing now. I've got an agent now. I sold uh, my story to. And he's going to be exploiting that story into uh, possibly a movie, a TV show. And, of course, my book and, of course, my tablet. So I'll be having a book on a tablet and on just live talking and a TV program. Uh, bringing more awareness uh, with uh, privacy is a really, really touchy subject as well as uh, ISPs being uh, not to modify any data. Uh, what's that? That would be, uh, what is it uh, that uh, ISPs are trying to do? It's uh, about uh, ISPs modifying and changing your data. Uh, and ISP, net, 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 net neutrality. Net neutrality is a really big issue right now. It's also a big issue is piracy and, and uh, copying of software and programs. Uh, there's the uh, IPA, SIPA, what's it, SIPA or whatever, that SOPA. SOPA. Yeah. And uh, there's a lot of uh, activity groups going out now. There's, uh, what's it, uh, something, uh, Action Now or something. There's a group, I forget what it is. Oh, it's a uh, it's a group that, uh, demand that progress? yeah, demand progress. Demand progress is really hitting me hard because uh, every time I post something from demand progress, it goes viral. And demand progress is trying to uh, to advocate uh, bad laws that are out there in the books right now, the SEPA and all the other uh, laws that are trying to restrict our privacy. 
And uh, this business about the cloud computing right now is really scaring me. I really don't like the idea of having my personal files up on the cloud. I want my personal files in here or on my laptop and not up there in the cloud somewhere. I, I have the cloud available. I could use Google, uh, Google Docs, and, but it's when it's appropriate for me to use it, I have it there. But I don't need it because I got everything here on my computer. Why should I make something available on the cloud, you know? And then, of course, there's a security. How secure is it going to be up there? Apple's got security flaws, just like any other company does. And uh, I've been hearing reports about people breaking into, this, into the cloud network. So it's really, really hard to, to keep your stuff private now these days. Cameras everywhere. Everywhere you go, there's a camera. Intersections, stores, shopping centers, parking lots. You're pretty much on camera just about wherever you go, you know. And then your iPhones are now being tracked by authorities that are uh, keeping track of your location with uh, with your location sensitive phones. That again, it's also a bad violation of privacy. So it's really hard, and I know for a fact that uh, iPhones have got APIs that let you go up there and see what's see how many people are on this certain cell tower and where they are and how much signal the strength they get what their ESN numbers are and all that is already there and you can get that right off the right off the APIs on your iPhone if you knew what to do yeah don't make waves don't get the authority sticked off at you and uh, there are legal ways of hacking and exploit those first before you go into the black hat community there are, red, there are white hat hackers out there. Join that community. Don't join the black hat community. Um, go out there and do your own thing. Uh, learn things not by going to reading books or going to courses or going to school. Learn things by going out there and doing it yourself. Try things by yourself. Uh, experiment. Um, that's probably the best advice I could get.